Hey, this is Nerdy Texan Count. Sorry, I have not been you know, doing much, you know, videos. I've just been really busy doing you know work and trying to get a second job at the moment, which I am getting. So yes, it will be on weekends. So more income for me. Good. So I can then buy more comics that I can't seem to review because I don't have time because I'm working so much. Hmm, that's not good. But I want to talk about what's happening with DC and how much they just really messed up so much right now with Brian Michael Bendis ruining the Superman line, Nightwing, yeah, DC you know ruining Nightwing and so much more. I heard that. One of the editors, I think someone said Dan Didio, or I think it was him. I remember um, Night Wolf no, you know, talking about it in one of his videos and that he wants to make you know DC more like Marvel. And I'm thinking, wait, don't you already have a Marvel line with DC? Isn't that the point of the, you know, the new, you know, the new age of heroes? You know, Silencer is a female, you know, Punisher. Terrifics is the, you know, is basically the Fantastic Four. Sideways is, you know, Spider-Man damages Hulk. So, you already had a line to compete with and try to get readers from Marvel. So why would you need to ruin longtime fans of original characters that you know that you had for so long, like Batman, Superman, and just throw away everything that you had? Just, just why? It's because these people don't understand the idea of having different products. If everything's the same in theme and tone, why read? more than just one book. That's my question. If if Spider-Man and the Hulk were the same toned and everything, you would just read which one you which character you prefer. And that's the whole problem. And as long as DC is going to go this route, it is going to make it worse and lower its sales. And pretty much, this is not even including Vertigo. And that, oh, that's so bad. I know Vertigo was originally supposed to be, you know, a way to keep um, titles that would not usually fit into the normal DC universe and have it there. Example would be um, Hellblazer, yeah. Titles like that, you that would not fit in normal DC. That's where they would go. And yet, now it's just full of NPC SJW stuff. And we already have politics in our you know, comics already. Why would we be wanting more of it? It just makes no sense. And it's just going down a path where it'll just keep falling and falling and it'll be just like Marvel again. But I hear Marvel is doing a little bit better. Not much better, but better. With its storytelling, not with its, you know, employees. <sighs> Shonen Jump has just done way much better, just so you know, in my opinion, with how they do it. They're trying to be good to their, you know, the customers and all that. They're saying, here, look, you can get a backlog of all our stuff. You can read some chapters for free. That's to entice you to read more and actually get you to, you know, put down money to actually then buy a story that you actually like. If you get to read five chapters of it and you like it, 
then voila, you're going to be much more willing to buy chapters, you know, 1 through 10 and all the other stuff. I know you already bought, or only, you know, read 1 through 5, but you're much more willing to read the rest of it if you know that this is a story that you can get behind and then like. A manga is. It's much better at, you know, having consistent stories, usually, than what comics are because, you know, Batman from 40 years ago is different from Batman today. And you pretty much have to read so many different phases. Well, let, let's compare Luffy from One Piece that's been around for 20 years. He's, you know, the One Piece story has grown, but you can follow it and it's a continuous growth, not just having different phases completely. And that's where I think manga is really doing much better. Is in that aspect of it. And. I think if this keeps up. DC will. Lose. It's core audience. The audience that it wants. That. Have been supporting DC for years. Same thing what Marvel has done to its. Consumers. It's loyal. Consumers were thrown under the bus for politics. DC seems to be following that path. And it's just sad because DC was doing things right. We're doing so many things right. Because this, the new age of heroes was the Marvel equivalent in the DC Universe. It did, you know, the same themes as Marvel with the idea of, you know, you trying to connect to the characters personally, not just have the characters be a beacon, but these are the characters that you would then, you know, try to say, oh yeah, I know how that feels in my life, and stuff like that. And... It just wants every character to be like that. DC just wants every character to be, oh yeah, I know that problem, and just give all these heroes that you're supposed to be looking up to problems. You need relatable heroes, and then you need heroes you can aspire to be like. We need both. DC could have had that perfect mix of both. It would have, you know, taken a while for this to have taken off, yes. But, I think if it kept going with how it was before, keeping, you know, you know not including with Vertigo, that, with that complete mess, but well, just within the main line of stuff, it wasn't perfect. But it could have been good, and yet they just screwed it up. I want to say thank you for watching. Tell me what you think about what DC is doing with, you know, example with what they did with Superman and Lois Lane, trying to break them up. Michael, Brian Michael Bendis just, oh, so stupid. And, well, I can say I'm glad I didn't buy anything after it, Action Comics issue 1000. I didn't buy anything after that because I wanted to see, you know, I'll wait for a trade, and yet, I made the right decision. And I hear people talking about it, like how, you know, how bad it is. And it's just...
which is bad. Again, I want to say thank you for watching and leave a comment on what you thought of the video, where DC could have made improvements, you know, and you know, just how disappointed you are in them. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.